UFC Fight Night, Whitaker vs. Alaskarov, billed as UFC Saudi Arabia, and originally scheduled to feature Robert Whitaker taking on Hamzat Chemaev, took place on June 22nd in front of a sold-out Kingdom Arena in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The gate for the event was not released, but the promotion made at least $7 million from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract, not to mention sponsorships and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? International commissions typically do not disclose fighter pay information, so while Venom sponsorship and fight bonuses are released, the purses I'll be showing in this video are just projections based on previously disclosed earnings. With that said, let's jump into the first fight. Every fighter that's under contract, if you want to tell the media what you're paid, that's up to you. Kicking off the main card, Vulcan Uzdemir made quick work of fellow light heavyweight contender Johnny Walker, scoring a knockdown with a left hook, and a few moments later, another with a right, and definitively ending the bout with a vicious uppercut that put Walker out cold. Uzdemir would take the KO victory just 2 minutes and 28 seconds into the first round. Walker earned $115,000 to show and $11,000 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, and took home $126,000. While Uzdemir made $120,000 to show and another $120 for the win, a $50,000 performance bonus that according to Vulcan, he'll put toward his wedding in just three weeks, $11,000 in Venom sponsorship, and a total of $301,000. In the second fight, Antonio Trocoli managed to neutralize some of Shara Magomedov's attack with his wrestling in the first round. Shara was able to open up his striking more in the second, and by the third, Trocoli looked slow and fatigued. Magomedov pounded his opponent's legs and upper body with kicks, and halfway through the round, delivered a combination capped off with a left hook that sat Trocoli down on the canvas, resulting in a TKO victory. Trocoli made $10,000 to show, and according to Dana White, also received a discretionary bonus for agreeing to the change of opponent. We know that these bonuses are usually in the range of $4,000 to $25,000, so without knowing for sure, I'll say he earned an extra $10K, along with $4,000 in sponsorship pay, to put him somewhere in the $24,000 range. And the winner, Shara Magomedov, likely still on his rookie contract, would have taken in $12,000 to show and $12,000 for the win. He got a huge bump with a $50,000 bonus, along with $4,000 in sponsorship, and a total of $78,000. The middleweight bout between Kelvin Gastelum and Daniel Rodriguez started out on the feet with both men throwing hard shots and Rodriguez mixing in kicks and bodywork. The striking numbers were incredibly close going into the final round. Midway through the third, Gastelum scored a takedown and maintained control while delivering damage from the top, doing enough to sway the judges in his favor and taking the unanimous decision victory. Rodriguez posted to his Instagram account afterwards, stating that he'd gotten a raise and a new six-fight contract for taking the fight, meaning he would have brought in around nine thousand dollars to show, while also taking in 30% of Gastelum's fight purse for the weight switch up for an additional $75,000, along with $11,000 in sponsorship for $176,000 on the night. While Gastelum earned $125,000 to show and another $125 for the win, he conceded $75k for his weight issues and took in $16,000 in sponsorship for a total of $191,000. Most did not expect the co-main event to go the full 15 minutes, but heavyweight contenders Sergei Pavlovich and Alexander Volkov duked it out for all three rounds. For the most part, Volkov controlled the fight with his reach, mixing in head strikes, kicks, and bodywork. Pavlovich connected with several hard shots, but they were too few and far between, and he was unable to score the knockout blow. Volkov would go on to take the unanimous decision victory against his former sparring partner. Pavlovich took home $100,000 to show and $6,000 in sponsorship for $106,000 on the night. While Volkov made $135,000 to show and another $135,000 for the win, $16,000 in Venom sponsorship and left with $286,000. And finally, the main event of the evening, Robert Whitaker proved that he still belongs at the top of the middleweight division by quickly dispatching of Ikram Alaskarov via knockout in the very first round. Whitaker connected with a right hand that wobbled Alaskarov and patiently stalked him down, delivering a devastating uppercut, followed up with big shots to put his opponent away and take the KO victory. Alaskarov earned $30,000 to show and $4,000 in sponsorship for an estimated $34,000. However, as he did take the fight on short notice, it's possible he was given a bump in pay, potentially a significant one. 
and the winner, Robert the Reaper Whitaker, took home $300,000 to show and $100,000 for the win, along with $21,000 in sponsorship and a well-earned $50,000 performance of the night bonus for the biggest paycheck of the night at $471,000. But as with Alaskarov, it's possible that Whitaker received a bump for taking the short notice fight, and as Rob had the most to lose by agreeing to the matchup, I'd say he more than likely did, potentially in the tens or hundreds of thousands. That's all for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button or leave a comment. It really helps to boost the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next week for UFC 303, Pajeda vs. Prohaska 2.